Hey guys, I'm back with a new video and it's the what if Naruto was in the two tablets and I'm be for real, I already had the audio ready for this but I accidentally deleted it. So yeah, I'm starting over so yeah. Don't move. I'll blast them away with my Kamui. Chap part six. The next day, Naruto and Sasuke would walk into the Tetroplet's apartment. But for some reason, Sasuke stops walking. Huh? Sasuke, are you alright? Asked Naruto. Yeah, um, hey Naruto, look in my eyes. Um, okay. Naruto looks at, Nar at Sasuke's eyes. Sasuke activates the shardy gun and puts Naruto inside inside of a genjutsu. Now, wait, Sasuke smirks. Now, Naruto, tell me, who do you have a crush on? Naruto was about to say something, but Karama broke him free out of the genjutsu. Naruto... Shakes his head, then looks at Sasuke with a pissed off look. Sasuke? Uh, yes, Naruto? Did you try to put me in the Genjutsu? Genjutsu? Before I could tell you who I like or something? Uh, no! No! Hmm, okay then. Minutes later. Hey guys, said Naruto. Yo, said Sasuke as they both walk inside the apartment. Hey Naruto, uh, hey Naruto, um, who's this? Said all of them. Oh yeah, um, guys, this is my, f this is, no. Oh yeah, um, guys, this is Sasuke, my best friend. Hmm, cool, said Yotsuba. Ishika goes to Naruto. You never told us this. Well, I think I only told Itsuki and Nino found out by herself. But anyways, let's let's take our studying outside. Um, okay then. So I love them. They all went to the park. Now let's study here. And once we're done, we can go get something to eat. Okay, said all of them. Minutes later, Sasuke gets up and goes to Naruto. So, are you still sure that you don't have a crush on one of them? Said Sasuke. Naruto stops writing and looks at him. Like I said, no. The, let's just say the two tablets blush at their <coughs> what Sasuke said are you sure like I said no Naruto hit Sasuke and sent him flying back and then he hit the tree Sasuke gets back up you want to fight Naruto if it keeps your mouth shut Yes, sir. If it if it keeps your mouth shut about shut about that, the the tablets they got up. Hey, you guys should not do not do this right now," said Ichika. 
Yeah, and Naruto, you just came out at the hospital, said Itsuki. Naruto runs at Sasuke, and he runs at Naruto. They have a taiju to fight for a while. Well, how long have they been? F- a couple minutes later. Well, how long have they been fighting? Said Yotsuba. Like a good 29 minutes, said Nino. We should stop them, said Miku. Sasuke kicks Naruto so hard, it sends him back flying to a tree, and then Naruto coughs out blood. The Tublin's eyes widened and went out to Naruto. Naruto, are you okay? Nino gets up, stands up. Alright, you guys should stop this already. And Naruto, you just got out the hospital. Why are you even fighting? said Nino. Naruto gets back up. I'm fine. But, anyways, let's just go get something to eat. They all went to a restaurant and ate. Then they went back to the to Tablet's apartment. As they were walking in, um, Miku and Iski asked Naruto, "Are you feeling okay, Naruto? You just cu- you coughed up blood." Uh, nah, like I said, I'm fine," said Naruto. "Don't act like it's nothing. Tell us the truth," said Nino. I feel, I'm telling the truth. That that fight was eh, to me. Me and Sasuke used to do that back when we were kids. But I agree, the hits hurt more than the past, though. So. Yeah. Sasuke looks down, remembering what happened at some point in their past. It was at the point that Sasuke was about to leave the village with Orochimaru's subordinates. And Naruto and him had a fight on the final valley. And Sasuke thought he killed him. But in the end, Naruto got Sasuke back to the village. Um, I'm back. I know, I know there's an audio difference, but I got a phone call. But yeah, I didn't know the person, so I had to hang up and cut the video. But anyways, let's get back to this. Um, what was I? Um, oh, hey, Naruto. Yeah, Sasuke? I will meet you back at the house. Sasuke walks away. Bye. Naruto turns back around. Naruto, I think... Naruto, I think he remembered what happened years ago about the first fight to death, said Kurama. Oh? Like I mean, he should have already forgot about that. Plus, the curse monkey he had it from Ochimaru, it was controlling it. So it, it was not his fault. True. But I think he's, I think he said of, of what he did and because he thinks he killed you with his Jidori, remember? Yeah, I guess you're right. Naruto walks to the couch. Um, Naruto? Asked Ishika. Yes. Are you sure you're fine? Yeah, if I wasn't, I would not be moving right now. Naruto moved his head. I'm gonna go in the bathroom. Naruto leaves. The twin, the twelve, the twins, tablets look at each other. Did you guys hear what um? I think Sasuke was his name. Did you hear what he said? Said Miku. Yeah, but that can't be though," said Itsuki. "I don't know, but he just wants to probably joke around with Naruto because he is teaching five of us. You know, five ghosts. Sorry," said Ichika. Naruto comes out the bathroom and goes to sit down. Hey Naruto, why do you think Sasuke said what he said earlier?" said Yotsuba. Huh? About that thing we fought about? Well, when we were in school, Erigo in the academy had a crush on him. 
So when I told him that I was teaching Fire View, he started to make jokes about jokes because in the academy, no girl liked me. But come to think of it, now I have to think for a second. I think only two girls liked me. Hmm. I think one was, her name was Eno. And the other one was, um, damn. I know it. I know it starts with an H, but I can't remember the full name. Nino blushes at the thought that someone from Naruto's past had a question with almost the same name as her. Huh? Whatever. Oh, I had this teammate. Um, her name was Sakura. Do you miss those goals? Said Itsuki. Not that much. I didn't really talk to them. Naruto had an idea. Hey, can you guys do me a favor real quick? Sure, what is it? Said Miku. Minutes later. Okay, we done. But what is this all about though? Said Iska. Why do you want us to put us hair up this? No, why do you want our... Why do you want us to put our hair up like this? Naruto, Naruto calls them calls them by their by order and gets everything right. Hmm, you got it right, said Nino. But anyways, Naruto puts the papers on the table. A flashback when Naruto was about was coming was going to the Tobas apartment before he brings Sasuke with him. Naruto walks in the apartment by himself. Alright goes, I want to tell you that Naruto's eyes widen and sees one of the Tentoblets um in a towel. Um okay then Naruto Slowly turns around and was about to leave. You pervert, said one of them, said the unknown to trouble it, and throws the bag at him. Hey, Naruto looks down. Pervert. <sighs> I heard that so many times when I was with Pervy Sage. If he was here, he would be like, good job, Naruto. He thought... Naruto was about to leave, but then he noticed the bag that got thrown at him, and he picks it up. Hmm? What's in- what's this? Minutes later, Naruto puts the paper back in the bag. Well, it looks like one of the tablets failed, said Kurama. Yeah. I talked to him later about it. Flashback ends. Naruto slams the paper on the table. This has to be one of you. So, what's up, Yosuba? Naruto said. Naruto, as she, uh, no, as he looked at Yosuba. Hey, why would you just assume it was me? Said Yosuba. So that's why you asked her to put her hair up. Said Itsuki. Even though I can't, I can't tell who's who. I still don't know how. To I just still don't know who to do that. Naruto thought, said Naruto. Oh, sorry, he thought. Can we take put? No, sorry. Can we take our hair down now? You acting e? You acting even weirder, weird, weirder today. Said um, you know. Naruto raised that eyebrow, then realized his scent. Naruto? said Ichika. Yeah? There's actually a definite possibility that none of us is the cold man after all. Naruto was confused, but listening. Don't freak out, okay? We lied, but we lied to you. We have another sister. Her name is something. I forgot. Sumi, Let's just say that. 
Well, do we really? said Yotsuba. Yeah, said Ichika. They talk, ab- they talk about it. Naruto walks away. Well, that was totally bullshit. Naruto goes in the bag. Well, anyways, we will start using this. Naruto pulls out paper. Minutes later, the t r o u b l e s were taking writing on the paper. These questions have the same on the papers I found. So, whoever scores the lowest is the one who did it, said Naruto. Minutes later, minutes, minutes, minutes later, I'm done. Icho gives her paper to Naruto with a smirk. Naruto looks at it, then one second later, he puts the paper down and he closes his eyes. So you're, gui- so you're the guilty one, huh? Naruto moves his head and points at Ichika. What? But how? I changed up my handwriting though, said Ichika. <sighs> you're B. You're the only one who writes in cursive. You, you find me out. Uh, hey, not that it matters, but we finish ours too, said Ichiki. Huh? Oh, sure. Naruto takes the paper. Uh, when Naruto was looking at every paper, Naruto raised an eyebrow. Well, that's just. said Kurama. Naruto looks at them. So each of you. failed a different exam? said Naruto. We're busted, said Miku. Thanks a lot, Ichika. You were supposed to hide our tests before he came over here, said Nino. Naruto sighs. Naruto, I think I know the real reason why you're doing this who's who. It must have to do something with that mystery girl you. those mystery girls you met back in Kyoto five years ago, right? If I'm right. And you think one of us is. And you think two of two of us are. Who you want to find out for sure, though? said Iski. N- Naruto takes a second and thinks about it. Mm. It's probably because of that. But. Naruto looks at them. Probably is. Naruto just nods. That's one of the reasons. He said, Anyways, I think I should go, to home, go home now. That night, Naruto was up all night making stuff for the, the Troublets. The next day, the next day, Itsuki was waiting by the door. Looks like Naruto's late. It's Saturday, it's our children day, said Itsuki. She opens the door and she opens the door and walks out. Everyone is waiting for him. Where is he? i s k e looks up and sees somebody in the distance. Huh? Hey, said Sasuke. Hey, um, why is Naruto on your shoulders? Well, he was up all night doing some stuff, but it's all in this bag. Here, take it. Okay then. She takes the bag and they both go in. Sasuke puts Naruto on the couch. What's wrong with Naruto? said Yotsuba. He is just tired, said Sasuke. Sasuke looks at Nino and Miku fighting over the remote. My favorite actor is on the r e n n y Ratsley show today, and it's okay right now. It's on right now, said Nino. Who cares? This is a documentary. I want to watch, and I can't miss this episode, said Miku. Sasuke goes to the TV and turns it off. Hey! They both yelled up. They both yelled. Sasuke goes to Ichika. Are they always like this? Huh? Oh, no. They aren't. No, said Ichika. Hmm. Okay then. So this is what Sasuke. No, sorry. 
So this is what Naruto has to put up with, Sasuke thought. Okay, let's get back to work, said Ichika. Minutes later, Naruto no, no me, <laughs> why am I saying Naruto? Mino and Miku started to fight again, argue again. Naruto, uh, fuck, let me stop. Sasuke stops writing on this paper. <sighs> why should I? What should I do? Naruto's still knocked out, Sasuke thought. A couple of minutes later, Sasuke was about to get up and stop the arguing, but Naruto woke up. Huh? What happened? Oh, you're finally awake, said Itsuki. Anyways, Nino and Miku are, fight- are arguing. Naruto gets up and goes to them. Huh. So this is what you guys are arguing about? The damn eraser? Huh? Oh, Naruto, you're awake, said Miku. Look who finally woke up, said Nino. N- eh, Nino. As she went back to arguing with Miku. Alright. So this is what Kakashi Sensei had to deal with me and Sasuke back in the day. Wow. Sorry for the hard trouble, Sensei. Naruto thought. <sighs> Sasuke walks up to Sas- to Nar. Sasuke walks up to Naruto. Naruto, be a little mean, you know. Naruto just shakes his head. Ichika, Itsuki, and me and Yotoba looks at both of them and wonder what they're about to say. Hey Naruto, let me take over and take this one, said Karama. Sure. I had nothing to say anyways, said Naruto. Karama takes over. Come on, is that all you got you brats can do? Do you have to manage to do so far? What should I expect from such a couple of dead weights like you both like you dumbasses," said Karama. "I know that's the worst, and so I could have ever done. Um, I think that was um," said Ichika. "Hey, don't bother barking at me. I'm almost done. You see," said Nino, as she puts the paper in front of Naruto's face. No, we broke. Naruto takes over again. Huh? Uh, you know, some of that stuff is not even on the test. Oh shoot, really? You know, I wish you'd take this seriously, said Miku. Oh yeah? Well, I would if, it, if I could, but it's so boring. I'll just go to my room. Hey, wait. Naruto looks at looks the other way. <sighs> Naruto sighs. Naruto pulls out the papers he had. Hmm. Well, this went to waste. Damn it. Try not to lose your patience, okay, Naruto? You're saying the example. We will we will fail without you, said said Itsuki. Sasuke walks to Nina. Hey, hang on, come on. You and your sisters are way behind. So don't get yourself behind just because of your selfish deeds. Don't speak to me. I'm not taking this from you just because you are Naruto's friend. Does not mean you know anything about, about me or him doesn't know about me. You guys are just outsiders. Miku goes up to them. Here, Naruto was nice to make us this, so please just take it, said Miku. Why should I care if he made this? It's not not like I made them. Nino accident Nino accidentally smacks the papers out of her hand. Everyone's eyes widen. 
Whoa. Hey, let's just take a step back, said Ichika. Hey, just relax, said Naruto. Mino, pick those up, said Miku. What? What's, what's your reception with these papers? They're, ju- they're both just losers, said Mino as she rips the paper. Well, doesn't that sound familiar? Naruto looks at Sasuke. And Sasuke just gives him a pissed off look. Sasuke puts his hand up to Miku, then goes past her. Oh wait, Sasuke puts his hand on Miku's shoulders, then tells her to just back away. Um, Itsuki goes up the stairs, then smacks Nino in the face, and everybody's eyes widen. Damn, well, shit, that just happened, said Kurama. You know, tell them you're sorry, said Itsuki. Nino looks at her with a piss off look, then smacks her back in the face. Do it, you owe them, said Itsuki. What? No, I will not. Just look. She shows her the papers. She did this and wrote this by hand. All of this paper, just for us. He put, let's just put more effort in this than he did, than what he did. It's not like, I. she looks around. You all going to choose their side over me? Okay then, I'm just going to move out. Huh? What are you even talking about? Said Naruto. I've been planning on it for a while now. This place is getting on my nerves. You know, stop and think about what our mother would feel. Don't do this, said Itsuki. Our mom is gone, Itsuki, so stop trying to be a replacement for her. Itsuki looks down. Think about what are you doing, though, said Yosuba. She's right. We can talk this out. She said, said Naruto. She was the one who hit me first, remember? You expect me to sit here and take a dramatic abuse meant from this evil meat monster, said Nino. Meat monster? Really? Fine. If I'm terrible, then I'll just move out too, said Itsuki. Perfect! The door is that way. A couple hours later, Isasuke. Yes, Naruto? Go home. I'll meet you there. But Naruto, just go, alright? Sasuke steps back. Fine. As he was leaving. Uh, Sasuke was leaving. Don't be late, dope. He leaves. Um, Naruto, are you okay? Said Ichika. No, I'm not. Naruto's eye starts to go red. Flicker back to red and blue. Naruto being sad and Kurama being annoyed with the emotions that's going on. It went into one. Naruto, calm down, said Ichika. Naruto takes a deep breath in, then out. Naruto relaxes, then he feels... No, wait, then Kurama feels... Chakra. A f- familiar chakra, he knows. Okay, I will, but I'm out, said Naruto. Naruto walks out and something falls out of his, from his jacket. Yosuba and Ichika sees it. I'm gonna be for real with you guys. I don't even know what I was... I forgot the photo thing, so... I need to remember what that was about, but anyways. The next day, Naruto's walking with Miku. 
So does this happen a lot, Miku? said Naruto. We're sisters. It's not rare, but this time it feels kind of different for some reason. Ichika and Yosoba Ichika and try to talk some sense into them. It's like they think whoever comes home first is the loser, said Miku. That's about right. They're both searching. Or, that's about right. Are they both searching though? Asked Naruto. No, they said they had stuff to do. And I think Ichika has to go to work. Naruto gets a bit frustrated. So, it's you and me to go get these other ways, huh? We can do this, Naruto. Naruto smiles. Yeah. A couple minutes later, Miku stops. I'm so tired already. Well, I mean, you are the... Not to be mean and all, but you are the slow one in the group. Miku looks up. I got this, though. A couple minutes later... A couple minutes went by, and... And, yeah. Have you seen a girl with this face come by? Said Miku as the people around her. Uh, yes, I think I saw her at the hotel I'm staying at, said the lady. Aha, no, I just thought. Minutes later, they walked into the door and Nino's eyes widened. Hey, why are you here and who let you guys in, said Nino. I told them that I forgot my keys in my room and they opened it for me, said Miku. So much for pride, for security. You know, it was about, you know, about yesterday. No, go away. I've no, I have nothing left to say to either of you both. She closed the door. Hey, you know, said Naruto. There was no, no reaction. You know, Nar- said Naruto, with a slight rated mix with a double-ish voice. Miku grabs Naruto and pulls, pulls him out of the, pulls him out the apartment. Was that Naruto? No, that can't be. She, she opens up the door, then closes the door. Um, with Naruto and Miku, they run out of the apartment, and Naruto notices that it's getting late and looks at Miku. Hey, um. And at least we know where Nino is. But we still have to find Itsuki though. Let's just call this a night, alright? It's already getting late. Miku looks at Naruto. Yeah, I guess you're right. I just hope that she's somewhere that could keep her warm. Minutes later, Naruto's walking all by himself in the park. So, kid, are you going to keep on looking for her? Said Karama. Yep, I knew it. But I'm gonna go home first, though. Naruto runs over there and opens the door. I'm home. Hey, welcome back, dope. Do I smell ramen? Yes. Are you gonna get some or not? <laughs> Of course I'm gonna get some. Naruto runs in the kitchen. But after after I eat ramen, I will leave again to leave again to try to find eat Naruto Naruto's eyes widen. Key. Oh hey Naruto. Uh hey Sasuke, can I give him more ramen? Asked Itsuki. Yeah sure, but just leave some for this dope. As uh, Sasuke walked away. Uh, thanks for having me, said said Itsuki with a blush. Minutes later, Sasuke went to his room. Naruto and Itsuki moved and looked at each other in the eyes. Then they both looked away. Listen, said Itsuki. Um, Itsuki said Naruto. They both said it at the same time. Oh, um, you go first, said Itsuki. Um, well... <laughs> Naruto was cut off by Sasuke walking to them. Hey, 
I'm, I'm gonna go to work for my night shit. So you both are gonna be here by yourselves, okay? Said Sasuke. Um, okay. Said, said the both of them. Minutes later, Naruto was still up. Man, I can't sleep, he thought. Well, you should go talk to Itsuki, though, said Kurama. Yeah, I guess. As Naruto was about to get up. Naruto, are you still awake? Itsuki asked. Huh? Oh, yeah? Itsuki turns around. Um, I'm sorry for dropping in on you. No, no, it's fine. And I have something to tell you. Wait, I have something to tell you. I got some. I got something to tell you. So come on. So come on. We should take a walk. Minutes later. Wow. Look at the moon. Look at the moon. Especially bright today. Tonight, isn't it? Said Itsuki. Hmm. Yeah. And hey, I know where. I know you are hungry because you ate, you ate almost all the ramen. Hey, don't, can't judge me. I didn't eat all day. She barked back. <sighs> Anyways, you should go home tomorrow. You have Miku, Yotaba, and Ichika worried sick. Itsuki stops walking. I can't this time. I'm gonna stand my ground. Against till Eno Nino apologizes, then but then again, I can't keep burning. Wait, then again, I can't keep on burning on you either. I'll be gone in the morning, I promise. As she speed walked, Naruto catch up to her. Okay, even if you leave. Where are you going to go? You don't even have your purse. Iski stops, then look, then check her pockets. You're right. She turns around to look at Naruto. Please let me stay a little with you a little bit longer. I'll help out however I can. Naruto sighs. Come on, don't act like that. You can't stay with me and Sasuke. But... But I don't think it's gonna fit you though, from how it is. Well, if I'm gonna be for real with you, Naruto, it's not like I've always been rich. You know, up till a few years ago, our family was not in a good state. Wait, really? Naruto stops and thinks for a second. I live like I was leaving hell back, back in the back in the village nobody to check on me no food barely the barely grams give me any money to survive only had, I had to rely on Sasuke and Itachi back then Naruto looks at Itsuki before our mom married our stepdad we were living in poverty how could we not? How could we not? She was raising five little girls completely on her own. Iski puts on a different voice to fit her mother's. Nothing in the whole world would make me happier than five of you grow up together to grow up healthy and take care of, of each other. She then looks down and goes back to her normal voice. She worked so hard to prove for her to vote for all of us till one day she fell ill and she fell in a terrible ill no wait one day of working she felt terrible ill she expanded expanded me she is wait she inspired me to look after my sisters and in, in her place and that's what i've always tried to do but lately, it hasn't worked out the way I planned. Naruto looks up in the sky. I see. 
I see now, she's like that with Nino because she was acting like a parent. Huh. Naruto thought. Naruto walks her. So you're playing the mom, huh, Isuke? Alright then, I guess I'll take the role of the dad. Isuke gasps and, and blushes and backs up. What are you saying? Uh, like I mean, your stepdad has not done anything. Like, what the hell has he been doing? He should have been helping you guys out. And Naruto looks back at the lake. And I think after I met those two girls back in back then, they kind of helped me to focus more and to um, appreciate what I have. And what's important, even more so, that's another reason why I studied. Or you keep looking for them. Okay, and have... And has you as our dad? Though? How is that going to work? As an Itsuki. Huh? Said Naruto. How you didn't even plan this out, huh? Said Itsuki. Uh, yeah. She chuckles. Anyways, the full moon is really is gorgeous tonight. Said Itsuki. Naruto then hears something in the bushes and he turns around and pulls out the kunai. Huh? Naruto, what's going on? Asks Itsuki. I have a feeling that we're not alone. What? Don't, don't, don't talk like that. You're scaring me. Come on, let's go. Naruto grabs her hand and runs out with her. And Naruto throws the kunai with a paper bomb with a little... Little paper bomb on it. Hours later, Sasuke, com- Sasuke comes back from work and goes to Naruto's room. And then, <laughs> and when he opens the door, he sees that Isuke was sleeping next to his bed. Oh, so what do we have here? He thought. He goes to Naruto. Naruto. Sasuke tries to wake up Naruto without waking up Isuke. Naruto. Huh? Naruto opened his eyes. What? Come on, let's train. But Sasuke, it's like 4 in the morning and we can't. Itsuki's here. Don't worry, we can put a seal that she won't hear it or get hurt from it. Naruto looks at her. Fine. He gets up and walks to Itsuki. Then Naruto does some hand signs. And put his hands on Isuke's shoulder. Seal. Said Naruto. Naruto gets back up. Okay. Now she won't get hurt. So let's go. They both leave the room. And Naruto puts another seal. That Isuke won't hear anything. That is happening outside the room. Now Naruto and Sasuke. Are at the back backyard. So what was that all about, Naruto? Said Sasuke. What do you mean? Said Naruto as he puts a border around him. You know, it's been in the same room, even though we have another room next. Um, that does not matter right now. Naruto looks at Sasuke. Ready? Yup. They both run at each other. Naruto and Sasuke do some hand signs. Fire style. Fire dragon flame, said Sasuke. Naruto jumps back. Water style. Water dragon jutsu. Said Naruto and the two jutsus clash into each other. Naruto lands on the ground. They run. They runs forward then jumps up. Rasengan Shuriken! No wait, Naruto runs runs forward and jumps up. And he puts his hand out. And a Rasengan forms. But it starts forming into a... Looks like a Shuriken. Sasuke's eyes widen. 
Rasengan Shuriken. Naruto throws it. Sasuke's eyes widen even more. What the? He can throw it? Sasuke j- tries to get out the way. With with Isuki, she woke up to feed a need. She walks. She wakes up. Hmm. I need to go to the bathroom. She gets up and walks. And when she got up, she turned her head and to Naruto's bed. Hey Naruto, where's the bat? She sees that Naruto's not in, uh, not in the bed. Huh? Where did he go? She leaves the room and walks around the house. Where can he be? Then... By Naruto and Sasuke fighting the... The seal. Or the seal around them. No, the seal that counts out the sounds is getting weaker. Then um, Iski hears something. He hears the clashes. And hears somebody talking. Sasuke, take this! Huh? Was that Naruto? She goes... She goes down... No, she... She runs to the back door and she opens the blinds on the window. Naruto and Sasuke run, rushed at each other, and they both hit each other in the face. Both hit each other with their own jutsus. We're saying on Chidori, and a big shock wave, and a bright light shines, and Itsuki closed her eyes from the light. And as the light went away and she opens them back up, she sees Sasuke's arm through Naruto's body. Sasuke's eyes widen. And and with fear, Sasuke drops Naruto's body and looks at it. No. No, not again. Not again, Sasuke yelled. Iski... His eyes widen. She moves back and starts to cry. No. No, there's no way that Sasuke will kill Naruto. This has to be a, a nightmare. This has to be a dream. She goes back to the window and there was nothing. Huh? Then she got knocked out. Sasuke was behind her. I guess Naruto's silly jutsu broke after he... Sasuke looks at his right. Before he knocked out, I hope. Sasuke Sasuke carries her to Naruto's room and puts her and lays her down on the on Naruto's bed. And Sasuke goes back where he puts Na- where he put Naruto. Sasuke Sasuke lays next to Naruto's body. Or, should I say, like, knee, kneel down. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. A tear goes down Sasuke's face. And as Sasuke was starting to tear up, his sharding gun has changed to a Makukyo sharding gun. No, his sharding gun's form started to change. Sasuke looks down. Do you really think I would die from that when I'm in my siege mode? Said Naruto. Sasuke quickly looks up. Huh? Naruto looks at him. <laughs> Look at your eyes. Your sharding gun has changed, Sasuke. As Naruto sped up blood. Sasuke was still shocked. <laughs> I guess your Tori. Your Chidori. Sorry. Why am I saying the wrong word? I guess your Chidori. Chidori. Is still a bit stronger. A little bit stronger than. My Rasengan. 
so it got me. I'm guessing that Iski didn't wake up or did Nartel's cut off. She she did wake up and I think she saw me shoving my Chidori in you. Hmm. Naruto tries to get up. I think I should Naruto passes out and starts to fall. Sasuke catches Naruto. Hmm. It looks like his stage mode has hit the limit. Sasuke takes him to his room and puts him next where he put Itsuki. As he was leaving. Oh, wait. Sasuke puts a jacket on Naruto and put a blanket over him. All right, done. Sasuke starts to leave and turns around and smiles. Good night, lovebirds, he said, and he leaves. The next day, Iski wakes up. Naruto, she yelled with a worried face. Huh? She looks around. Naruto opens the door. What happened? He runs to her. What's wrong, Iski? She hugs him tightly. I thought you were dead. Huh? What are you even talking about? But he hugged her back. I thought you died she she said as she cried started to tear up no no it was now calm down it was just probably a bad dream yeah you're right but it looked so real though that couldn't itsuki it, it's, it was just a dream okay i was always be i was always i will always be here for you and your sisters all right Naruto breaks a hug. Come on, get ready for school. Okay. EC goes off and gets ready. Naruto looks off the distance. Looks at the door. Hmm. I guess she saw, she did saw that fight. Good thing I got her to think it was a dream though. Um... This is where I'm gonna end it off. I know this is kind of the bad place to end it off, but yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, if you liked it, like and subscribe. And see you guys later. Peace.